So I'm gonna show you how to wire together oxygen sensors universally too. So this is what we're looking at. This is my original two browns, a violet, and a light brown. And I got two blacks, white, and a blue. Harnesses are different, but oxygen sensors work the same. So here's the diagram here. It shows all the original color codes. And if you have a Bosch, the two whites are gonna be the fumes or emissions. The gray is gonna be the negative. The black is gonna be positive. In my case, I got two blacks, white, and a blue. So the two blacks are gonna be the little signal deals. The white's gonna be negative, blue is gonna be positive. And now I got the two browns, violet, and the light brown. There's two browns, violet, and light brown. So two browns are gonna be wired to my two blacks. My violet's gonna be to my blue. My light brown to my white. And if y'all wanna take a picture of this color code, pretty much one of these is gonna match up to your vehicle. So this is what I'm looking like here. I just took this harness off, this harness off the old one, and pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link those two together. Show you how this is gonna go according to this diagram. Black, browns, light brown, white, Violet with blue. Got all my wires spliced back using my wire stripper. Gonna go ahead and wire them together. Before I got started, I went ahead and slid my old insulation back on so that after I wire them together, I can just pull it back up so it can protect the wires from the heat. So it doesn't have to be a fancy job. This is on my car, so I mean, it's gonna work. You can do a little bit better with shrink, shrink wrap or whatever, but I'm not worried about it. So we got the negative, positive, your two signals right here so get everything buttoned up out the way i'm gonna add some flex tubing around it and there you have it stock oem o2 sensor